What's going on guys, Onside Baller TV, today I want to talk about the player of the year Jeremy Doku. Guys, what a player, do you all think it's time for Jack to get out his washcloth and polish, keep the sideline bench clean. But before I started, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, thank you all for your support. What a game the boys in blue had, after Erling Holland limped off with a twisted ankle. It was down to a different Manchester City forward to be a match winner and it came in the form of Jeremy Doku, whose progress in his first months at the club has even surprised Pep. Questions, who you all think is the player of the year so far? I think Doku, leading the race. Let us continue shall we, focus will inevitably be on Holland after his injury scare and he may miss the midweek Champions League tie against young boys but there is hope it is not serious. Without him, City scored three times in the second half and Doku announced himself to home fans with a goal and four assists. Most players at City take a year to adapt to Guardiola's demands and methods, yet Doku has seamlessly slipped into the ways of the treble winners. His running on the left flank is unpredictable for fullbacks, taking them in either direction with an eye for the quickest route to goal. I'll be honest, I've been a little surprised, said Guardiola. He created something for the crowd. When he takes the ball everyone gets excited me too. In his first game he was too shy, but then he has started to show his incredible skills. He has surprised all of us how he reads every action, what he has to do and his quality close to the box. It is difficult to find a player today with the ability to dribble in small spaces. He's one of the fastest players across 5 meters. It's incredible how he can change the rhythm in distance. He is able to take good decisions and I'm impressed with that. After a goalless first half hour, Doku created the opener for himself with a drive towards goal. Passes were exchanged with Rodri before he side-footed into the bottom corner. The £55.4 million summer signing from Ren then teased Chris Mepham with stepovers before laying on Bernardo Silva's finish. Doku celebrated the third goal himself, but his shot was going handsomely wide before it flicked off Manuel Akanji's back and passed Andre Radu. While this guy is on fire, but you know how we do. Let us continue the conversation below. What do you all think about Doku? Is it time for Jack to star worry about playing time? Is Doku the player of the year? See you all in the next one. Onside Baller TV. Bye for now.